Hey everybody, it's Commander Crane here. Like, I'll uh, welcome you to uh, the first video in our new playlist here. It's going to be uh, Battles Through Time. Uh, so basically, we're going to be going through a lot of the strongest battles in the history of Pokemon. This includes uh, some of the mobile games. This also includes some of the console games. Uh, today, we're going to be starting with Pokemon Battle Revolution Stargazer Coliseum. So, Stargazer Coliseum uh, is the master's battle. The ultimate knockout battle against super strong trainers. Make the best use of all your skills and knowledge. So, this is going to be a 4v4 doubles battle. Um, it's all going to be level 50. So, there are eight different sets here. Goes all the way one through eight. Uh, today, we're going to be starting with set one and two. Uh, with, other, with the other sets going to be on later videos here. Um, so, we're just going to hop right into it here. Uh, 50 all, double battle. Uh, I'm going to show our team a little bit here, just give a quick gist of what our team is. So, this is sort of a pseudo-sand team, but a lot of it's just uh, my favorite Pokemon for the most part. So, we've got Tyranitar here, he's really bulky. Uh, we've got Garchomp, which is one of our sweepers. Aerodactyl, also one of our sweepers of this set. Mostly is just a very aggressive uh, strategy to it. Uh, we got Metagross here, who's really bulky, kind of an anti tricker in Pokemon. We've got Latios and Zapdos, who are both uh, some of our special sweepers here. They hit really, really hard. Uh, Zapdos also can set Tailwind if needed. Um, so this is the team that we're going to be using for the first two sets here. Um, as we go on, I potentially am going to be changing our team based on what we're probably going to battle against here. Um, so we're just going to hop into the first battle here. So we got playing against Chance and all of his bug types. So... We're going to use our rock types and not have, let him do anything, I suppose. <laughs> All right. Stargazer Coliseum, Masters Battle. All right. Let's see what he's going to lead with here. That there is. All right. So, yeah, two bug types. Um, I think we're just going to lead double rock slide here. Uh, that's, that's pretty much the game plan. <laughs> I don't think they're really going to be able to stop this too much. And, yep, that's a double knockout. All right. <laughs> yeah, there's there's no way he's going to be able to... Even if he's got focus sash, yeah, he's all oh, focus banned. So, all right, let's see if this knocks it out now. Yep, that took it out. Okay. Even if it would have survived, it would have just gone down to the sandstorm. So it, it really wasn't going to be able to stop that at all. A um, couple of these master sets are going to be a little easier. Like set one and two are typically pretty easy. Um, but definitely once we get to the later uh, sets, they're they're going to be a lot more challenging for sure. Alright, Dust Stocks and Vespaquen. Yep, same, same as before. Just double rock slide. Uh, maybe a berry? Yep, okay. It still might even get knocked out from this. Nope, they both lived. Oh, Dustox's Focus Hash? Oh, no, it just lived with 1 HP, okay. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that, that takes him out for sure. Alright, so there's the first battle in two turns. <laughs> I promise they're not all going to be this easy, That's that's for sure. All right. Well, there's the first battle. Yeah, just be glad that it just be glad it didn't use Ubers. Although technically in this generation, Garchomp is an Uber, but we're gonna pretend that it's not. And Latios, I think, was depending on the time. It might still be. I'm actually not too sure on that. Okay. Um. Doesn't look like we have a lot of strategy to this one, at least. Um. Let's see. I definitely like Latios in this. I like Zapdos in everyone except for Quagsire. Let's go... <laughs> Let's go Garchomp, Zapdos, Latios. Um, and then we'll... I think we'll end with... We'll go Metagross at the end. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, the only thing I'm really concerned about is that Quagsire. It's it's typing can definitely be extremely annoying. Considering we don't have a grass type. Uh, 
All right. All right, Lavany Quagsire. All right, um, definitely could see Fake Out coming from Lavany, so I am going to, just in case they go Fake Out Ice Punch, I am going to protect with Garchomp. Um, but I am going to use Thunderbolt on Lavany here, try and get it out of here. Okay. Oh, no Fake Out, okay. Thunderbolt. Well, barely hung on. Fling. Fling its flame armor. Okay, so it burns Zapdos. Zapdos just got burned. I'm actually okay with that. Fling. Fling its earth plate. It oh they doubled into Zapdos. It's being ganged up on. Wow, I definitely did not expect that. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Alright. Um, um, let's go ahead and go Earthquake. Um, Zapdos, I believe, is, yeah, Zapdos is faster. So, let's go Heat Wave to get some chip damage on Quagsire, and then we'll go, we'll go Heat Wave Earthquake. Okay. Alright, so there goes Lop, and he got a little chip damage on Quagsire. Definitely an Ice Beam would be unfortunate, but at this point we'll get a lot of damage on it, so we'll be making a trade here pretty soon. Alright, hung on. Waterfall, okay, alright, so it doesn't have Ice Beam. Oof, Zapdos barely hanging in there. Oh, it, it, it died to the burn. Okay, that's alright, that's alright. All right, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just go Latios, I suppose. Pseudo Wudo. Is sent out. Pseudo -wudo. Is sent out. All right, yep, we'll just go... We'll just go Earthquake Dragon Pulse here. Well, I guess there's no reason to not go Psychic over Dragon Pulse. All right, let's just do that. Latios Dodge is that. Knocked it out. All right, double knockout. All right, fair enough. I guess I should have set up with Calm Mind if I had that. <laughs> the red corner lost both of their Pokemon. That they did. That they did. And there's no target. All right, who do they got last? Machamp. Okay, Machamp. Yeah, that's. This should be pretty easy. Dragon Claw Psychic. I love this animation for Garchomp. <laughs> and Psychic. Get him out of here. Alright, there we go. Alright, well, second battle done. Uh, we've got two more to go. Because uh, for each set, there is four total battles. Alright, we win. And we will continue. Alright, so we're on to the semifinals here. Kelsey. Prugly, Driftblim, Mr. Mime, Luxray, Driverick, Pachirisu. Hmm. Definitely think I like Tyranitar in this. Um, this kind of looks like it could be a Tyranitar Garchomp. Or even a Tyranitar Metagross. Yeah, let's go Tyranitar Garchomp. Uh, Aerodactyl Metagross. We'll just... We'll go all in on kind of the, the sub Sandstorm theme. Yeah, definitely the Perugly might have some fake out pressure. And actually hits pretty hard from my understanding. Its attack is pretty decent. Alright. Luxray Girafferig, okay. So this is pretty easy. This is probably... Oh, that kind of stinks. It's probably Earthquake Crunch. Well, no. Who's got the higher attacks at exactly? I think it should be Tyranitar. 179, 185. Okay. So, yeah. Um... 
kind of like Rock Slide too, though. Let's just go Protect with Tyran. No, we're gonna go Earthquake with Tyran. No, oh, because Garchomp gets stabbed. Yeah, so let's go. We'll go Protect. Uh, oh, actually, no. Uh, I, I keep second. I know that Luxray has probably got Ice Fang, so we're actually going to protect Garchomp instead. That's what we're going to do. So just in case Luxray hangs on here, we won't... Ooh, Swagger. Oh, ooh. Okay, then it probably has, like, Lumberry, I'm assuming. Yep, okay. Oh, Prismberry. All right. Earthquake. Oh, Terrence is faster than the Luxray. That's actually surprising. Alright, no knockouts. Oof, didn't even do half. Intimidate. Yep, exactly. Exactly. I knew you had that. Get some chip damage with the Sandstorm. It's a fast draft rig if it... At first. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to swap into Aerodactyl. I'm going to go Earthquake. Actually, because we could swap into Metagross here. So. No, we're going to go Aerodactyl. So. Yeah, I'm going to swap into Aerodactyl. And then go for an Earthquake. There we go. Got air deck on play. Dodges it. Alright. This should get the knockout. Yep. Oh, that took them both out. Alright, alright. Alright, perfect. Now we're up two, so that's that's pretty solid. Not sure. I'm not nothing too concerning on the other end for the most part. Triplim, okay. I do have got Rock Slide for that. Pearl Ugly, okay. Alright, yeah, this is pretty fair. So we're just gonna go Rock Slide. I would go double Rock Slide. I actually don't have Rock Slide on Garchomp, though, unfortunately. Um, I'm just going to Dragon Claw the Pearl Ugly. I, it might use Fake Out. Wait for Fake Out, okay. That's fine. Alright. Dactyl taking it like a champ. Get some damage on that per ugly. That's pretty solid. Yeah, do over half. Shadow Ball, probably Dactyl. Yep. Tanking it. Tanking it. That's that's fine. Get some chip damage in there. Awesome. Rock Slide might even take out per ugly. I think just to be safe, I'm gonna go Rock Slide and I'm gonna crunch into Perugly. Uh, just on the off chance it happens to live. Okay, duh. oh, it takes them both out. Wow. Whew. Gosh, so much damage. Alright, awesome. Alright, well, we're on to the last round. I don't actually, I believe it's the Coliseum Master Joe is the the final battle here i'm i'm pretty sure it is all right yeah we're we're rolling we're rolling they got one knock out on us was that from zapdos yep it is joe with his apom <laughs> okay um hmm i know he's got some really speedy pokemon so i actually Kind of like leading Zapdos here to set up a Tailwind. I'm thinking Garchomp. Yeah, let's go Garchomp, Zapdos. Um, kind of like Metagross here. We'll go Garchomp, Zapdos, Metagross, and I kind of like Aerodactyl. Hmm. No, we'll we'll go Tyranitar. All right. See, I know his Pokemon are really fast, and they hit pretty hard, but they're not very sturdy, for the most part. Alright. 
Alright. Um, I think I'm gonna protect with Garchomp. I definitely don't want to get hit by probably a, a Blizzard or an Ice Beam here. Uh, and I think we're gonna set up the Tailwind. There's a chance... Uh, see, it resists both the Staraptor stabs. Oh, could be going for a Surf then. Okay. I like this. I like this. What's nice is Zapdos resists resist, uh, Brave Bird and Close Combat. It might have Return, I guess, but yeah, this Tailwind's gonna be huge. Surf, okay. I still feel like it's got an Ice Move, so we're definitely gonna go after... Uh... He actually took that pretty well. Okay. Um... <laughs> I don't know if a... I really don't know if a Dragon Claw. Hmm. Dang. This is interesting for sure. Cause Empoleon definitely needs to go. Staraptor is gonna hit really hard. I guess if if I guess if Zapdos goes down to Staraptor, like we're still in okay shape. So it should take it out, but we're gonna Dragon Claw into Empoleon. Um, and we're gonna Thunderbolt into Empoleon. Just in case it happens to live, but it, it, I don't know. Okay, okay, it does get taken out, so Straptor's gonna take a Dragon Claw here. Unfortunately, we can't really go for an Earthquake just because Straptor dodges it. Um, and I didn't want Earthquake to not knock out Empoleon. I think this, I believe Straptor is Sash too. Return, okay, on Zapdos, probably. Yep, okay. Wow, Zapdos hung on. Wow. Whew. That was a tanky hit. All right. Could get some fake. Could get some, uh... Hmm. Could be fake out pressure from Infernape. I'm gonna... Hmm. <laughs> Nah, we're just gonna go risky. Right, let's see. Oh, okay, no fake out pressure. So, all right, Thunderbolt, out of here. I don't know who's gonna move first here. I have, I do have max speed on Garchomp. I don't know if it's faster than Infernape, unfortunately. It is faster than Infernape. Wow. Okay. Avoided the attack. Bright Powder, I guess. Oh my. Ah. That's such a cheap knockout. All right, fine, fine. And my tailwind's gone. Oh, <laughs> I had the tailwind. Duh, duh. Of course I was faster. Pikachu. <laughs> I think a bullet punch could probably just take out Pikachu. Um, I'm gonna go earthquake protect here. I have a feeling that. A Flare Blitz is going to come out on Metagross. So we're just going to go ahead and protect. A Garchomp still faster? Holy crap. That double knockout. Yep. All right. Well, that's game. I Right? Yeah, that's game right there. Wow, that's weird. No fake out. And Garchomp was faster. Huh. All right. Well, okay. Well, their set one is done. Only seven to go. Got to get our pokey coupons. All right. You cleared Sergius Coliseum. Sweet. All right. Alright, let's go to Colosseum Battle. Stargazer, once again. Then we are going to go to Set 2. Alright. And we're going to go go ahead and go with the same set here. Masterclass Erica. Alright, we got Noctowl, Carnivine, Roserade, Steelix, Lopany, Blissey. Interesting. 
Um, <laughs> kind of like Gladios. Kind of like Zapdos too. Um, <laughs> Metagross just wrecks Blissey. Um, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Garchomp, Zapdos, Aerodactyl, Metagross. That's that's kind of what I'm thinking. All right, let's see it. Set two. We got this. Stargazer Coliseum, Masters Battle, set two. What kind of battle can we expect from the challenger this time? All right. They're ready to battle. And are Got Noctowl Roserade. Um, I kind of like Thunderbolt Earthquake. That's... That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking Thunderbolt or Earthquake. Alright, let's try that. Alright, boom. There we go. One knockout. Sorry, Noctowl, but I had to do it. Car Trumpies Earthquake. Let's see if this can take it out. Nope. Hung in there. Barely. Maybe a, like a leaf storm or something. Oh, to toxic spikes. Okay, to toxic spikes. Oh, maybe this is a... That's what this whole thing is, is like... Uh, like using roar, like I know Steelix. Maybe that's what that's for? Not that this is going to deal any damage, but we'll go for a Thunderbolt. It actually wasn't too bad. I I don't think this earthquake is gonna take it out for sure, but I guess they could have swapped into Aerodactyl possibly, but it's gonna get knocked down the next turn anyways. All right, that did pretty good damage. All right, you're out of here. Get out of here. Get him out of here. Stealth Rock. Okay. Well, if I switch, then. I'm gonna take some damage, but you gotta knock me out first. Or at least force me to switch out before any of that works. Alright, well, this is a very easy earthquake and heat wave. Pretty easy. Uh, of course, that didn't deal any damage. Oh, he dodged it. Ah. Oh. Dang it. Earthquake. Was it Exceptos? Alright, there goes Blissey. Roar. Yeah, okay, I was right. I was right. So, well, it, it, ideally send in, like, Metagross. That'd be perfect. And there's Metagross, alright, so he takes no damage from the Toxic Spikes, and then a little bit from Stealth Rock. Alright, yeah, he's, uh, not looking good here. Let's go for another Heat Wave. Alright, that should be a knockout right there. Alright, yep, out of there, alright. First battle down. I always love it how they, they almost kind of milk how much that they're getting hurt when they when they get knocked out <laughs> you had a well played strategy except you gotta you gotta make me switch <sighs> all right let's see master class jaden drapion b barrel ambipom tentacruel seeking and chimeco okay um, ba, 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 ba. Hmm. <laughs> I like Garchomp Zapdos again. That just seems, that seems good. Um, I also kind of like Tyranitar Aerodactyl. It's probably a good choice. Um, let's actually go, let's go Garchomp Aerodactyl for, because we could just go Earthquake, Rock Slide. Uh, and then we'll go... 
Uh, I don't think it's gonna matter too much. We'll go Latios. Alright, battle two. Battle two. Okay, yeah, this is... Yeah, it's Earthquake Rock Slide. Should deal some good damage. Seeking... They both potentially are carrying ice moves. Oof, that... Tentacle should get knocked out. Oh! Oh, he was faster than Garchomp? Oh, thank God we got the flinch then. Holy crap. That could have been... That looked like an ice beam all over it. Seeking's out too. Whew! That was a good flinch. That was a very good flinch. Honestly, I feel like I feel like Aerodactyl is really lucky when it comes to to flinches. I feel like I get a lot of flinches with Aerodactyl's rock slides. Maybe Palm and Drapion. Okay. Good, um, good chance of fake out. I'm just gonna go into it. I just we're just gonna go into it. Fake out. Okay. That's fine. I actually rather would have had Earthquake go off anyways. So that's okay. But, yep. Okay. Earthquake. The Shookaberry. Okay. So it's it's definitely surviving that. Oh, that did that did really good damage, so. Acupressure. I don't, okay. On Ambipom. Spell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's going to be doing a lot for you. All right. This should be pretty wrapped up here. Rock Slide Earthquake. All right, Drapion's... He's, all, he's gone with uh, Earthquake. All right, and then that's going to be Battle 2. So then we've got two more battles to go. All right, out of there. Perfect. It couldn't take it. It's down. All right, there we go. Now we're on to the semis. Yeah, like I said before, uh, a lot of these battles are going to be generally pretty easy. Uh, at like first couple sets, I don't. It really doesn't start getting super challenging until probably about maybe set three, set four. That's that's when it's gonna start getting a lot tougher. Um, looking at this, this is definitely a Garchomp Zapdos lead again. Um, mostly because I I have a I have a feeling my Lodic's gonna be led, and even if it's not, um, I think that's definitely what I want to do here. So I think I'm gonna go Garchomp Zapdos. I like Metagross here for sure. Um, I think we're gonna go, I think we're gonna go Aerodactyl, I think we're gonna go Aerodactyl last. I used to have Stone Edge, actually, for a long time on Aerodactyl, uh, and then I replaced it with Rock Slide, and it's just been so much better. Not that, not that Stone Edge wasn't good, but Rock Slide is just, just amazing. Oh, look at that, almost like I, almost like I knew what I was talking about. Um, I think we're going to go Protect with Garchomp. I think this is just Protect Thunderbolt. Um, I don't know. Man, I don't think it'd be a rain team. Maybe. I think I'm only thinking that because Pelipper in the new games gets Drizzle. Whew, that did so much damage. And Paralysis. Oh, awesome. All right, I'll take that. Swagger. Ooh, that's actually really awkward. Okay. Toxic? Really? They're, they really do not like Zapdos then. Alright, well, I guess I'm swapping out Zapdos. Um, I guess the question is, what do I want to swap into? Um, I'm definitely going to take out my Lodic. I guess I swap into. 
I think I just swap an Aerodactyl. I think so. Okay, that should take out my Lodic, no problem. Okay, I don't know what this Pelipper is gonna do exactly, but I mean, if it if it hits us with an Ice Beam, we just we send back out Zapdos with no confusion and just keep going. Tailwind. Okay, all right. So it's it's a support Pelipper for sure then. Rapidash. Okay. Um. Uh, ta -ta 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 I think, I think I'm just gonna go, actually, actually, uh, I'm gonna go Dragon Claw into Rapidash, and then I'm gonna go Dragon Claw, Rock Slide. I wish I had Rock Slide and Garchomp now, but every time I feel like I should give it, okay, that was, that was really nice. Swagger. Okay. I feel like every time I should give it Rock Slide and give it a Crunch, Crunch is like wins me games so it just it's hard to justify it all right come on aerodactyl come on <sighs> that did so much damage my goodness pretty good damage pretty good um boof. all right i'm just gonna do I'm just gonna do that again, actually. I don't, they might just knock an Aerodactyl and that's fine, I guess, but attract on, uh, wow, they really do not like Aerodactyl. <laughs> Hydro Pump. Why did you attract it if you had Hydro Pump? Oh, okay, okay. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Got him. All right, so Rapidash is gone. We got two left. Two left. Ta oh, the Tailwind's... Pfft. I was going to say... I okay. All right. I thought it was next turn it was going to be gone, but that, that works for me. Golduck. Good old Golduck. G Golduck. All right, there we go. Let's see. Okay, that's fine. And I'll Thunderbolt you. Are you kidding me? It's sashed. My goodness. <sighs> Dang it. Tailwind. Yeah, it makes sense. I wish I could. <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> I want to do here. I think. I need to get rid of that Pelipper. Um, this is weird, but we're. I guess this is how we're gonna approach this. Probably Swagger. Disable. Oh, well, it's a good thing I'm using Heat Wave. That's for sure. Okay, so it's like a Tailwind. Like, it's like Prankster before there was Prankster. Is what they're doing, I guess. It. Yeah, that's actually a really good... They're, they're using Tailwind and then getting Prankster, is what they're doing. And I just cannot get their confusion. Alright, well. Pelipper's gone, at least. Alright. Golduck against the world now. Okay. Just because of Disable, we'll go with Earthquake. And Thunderbolt. Oh, it's disabled. Right. Um. Detect, I guess. <laughs> Come on, Zapdos. Good job. Hydro Pump. Alright. This should do some good damage here. That was excellent teamwork. The Peter now. Okay. Tail one's gone. You're dead. Earthquake. Thunderbolt. It's disabled still. <laughs> fine. Heat wave. Fine. Probably hit yourself anyways. Yep. 
All right. Oh, that's it. That's the end of the battle. Get him out of here. Should have just had a taunt Pokemon. Just taunt. I think really, I of all my main ones I have, I think I've actually only got one Pokemon with taunt. Funny enough. That's my uh, bulky Gyarados. I think that's the only one I really have that has taunt. I know not a lot of not a lot of my moves are actually very optimal. Like if anything, actually Aerodactyl should have taunt. Sashay. Okay. So I do remember this chick. So this chick uh, is like a PP stall. So if you look, um, not all of them have it. But for instance, uh, Vespaquen has pressure, pressure. Uh, pressure. This might have pressure, I don't know. But I know the whole point of what they do is PP stall. That's the whole... Oh, they all have spite. I don't know what this Raichu does exactly. But they all... They, she always leads Spiritomb. Every single time leads Spiritomb. Um, so, that being said... I definitely want to get Tyranitar out to get the Sandstorm cooking. So... We're going to go Tyranitar, Aerodactyl, Metagross, and I think Zapdos. Probably Zapdos, or should it be Garchomp? We'll go Zapdos. Yeah, I, I know that's exactly what she's going to do. So right off the bat, we're going to go right into the Spiritomb. Not even going to mess around with it. I'm feeling the pressure. Alright, here we go. By the way, this soundtrack is one of the best in the game. Exerting its pressure. Almost like it was going to do that. Tyranitar, Aerodactyl. And from the red corner, Spiritomb, Vespaquen. Here, oh, I was say, here they come. Okay. Um, I think double rock slide. That's what we're doing. Double rock slide. I'd go earthquake, but we're going double rock slide. Let's do this. That's fine. Just need to get some damage on that spirit tomb. Okay. Best one protects itself. Okay. All right. We got through to spirit tomb. All right. Solid damage. Solid. It's not it's not too bad. Okay, turn to his rock slide. That's quite break itself. Okay. Alright. Hey, hey, both got through. Awesome. Alright, awesome. Oh! <laughs> oh, we got the lucky critical hit. Alright, Spear Tomb on turn one is down. And that's really hard to do that. So Awesome. All right. So now the whole strategy is definitely messed up here for sure. Raichu. Um, we are gonna do. We're gonna do it again. We're just gonna keep. <clears throat> we're just gonna keep spamming Rock Slide. Fake out. Sure. Flinched. Rock Slide didn't miss anybody. All right. Ooh, alright. That's one's down. Raichu is very hurt. Get chipped away. Good old Raichu. Nice and plump. Weavile. Alright. Well, we might as well just have choice bands, because we're going uh, double rock slide again. <laughs> I guess you can make the argument to maybe go earthquake, but we're rock slide. Rock slide. Rock slide. Protect. Okay. That's... Oh, it's because it's got pressure. Right. Alright. Just gotta hit Raichu. Okay. Yep. Alright. Weavile against the world now. Alright. Raichu's down. Alright. It's all we got left. Rock slide. All right. Uh, 
All right. We vile against the world. Uh, we're actually going to go Earthquake here just because it might go Spite. Uh, it, it, it needs to be on offensive, for being honest. But uh, there we go. Earthquake Rock Slide. Let's see, what the, let's see what it's got. Spite! Almost like I knew. All right. Rock slide. Out of there. Oh, all right. Well, there we go. We got the easy victory. Didn't even get... They didn't even get a knockout on us. All right. Sweet. All right. Well, that is set two right there. Um, yeah. We got the second set. All right. That is not the last time we will be seeing her either in this Masters Battle sets. Okay. Well, there's the first two battles here. Um, I guess while we're at the end here, um, I'll give a little bit more in-depth analysis on our Pokemon here uh, that we were using here. Uh, there's a good chance we will be using them again in set three and set four. Um, let's go ahead and give a rundown real quick uh, on what we're working with here. Um, all right, so first up, we got Tyranitar. Uh, it's honestly going to be pretty standard. Um, I guess a quick disclaimer is not all my Pokemon are 100% optimal. I don't have 31 IVs and, like, a, a, a bunch of perfect stats. I don't have that on my Pokemon. Um, they generally get good natures. The only ones that don't are actually ones like Tyranitar, for instance, here. Um... So, for the moves I got, Protect, Crunch, Earthquake, Rock Slide. Uh, crunch, good stab move. Earthquake, great coverage. Uh, and Rock Slide is, is Rock Slide, Protect is Protect. Um, so, this one, for instance, is Jolly. Not all of them are optimal again. Um, but this is just my one I've had for a long time. So, I, I re ev trained it. Um, so, we got Garchomp here. It's a really bad nature. I believe it's low special defense, high special attack, which is not what you want on a Garchomp. But it has really good IVs when I bred it. Um, so it's got Protect Dragon Claw, Earthquake Crunch. As much as I want to give it Rock Slide, I feel like Crunch is almost just too necessary a lot of the time. Um, so that's Garchomp. Oh, also, uh, Left on Town Tyranitar and Garchomp, it actually did have the Life Orb. Um, but for Survival Battle, I did put the Muscle Band on it, which is still currently on there. Um, it, it should be Life Orb, but for the current time being, it is Muscle Band. Uh, so Aerodactyl here. Uh, pretty standard. Um, if I wanted to have a perfect one, I would actually have, um, uh, which it does have a good nature. Uh, it wouldn't have Rockhead. It would actually have, um, Pressure, but this is just a classic one I had and I didn't want to get another one because of it. Um, so we got Crunch, Fly, Rock Slide, Earthquake. Uh, Fly is not super optimal, but it actually, a lot of the time, acts like a pseudo-protect. So I decided to keep it on there and it actually is not too bad. Um, uh, Overall, I really do like this set. Uh, Aerodactyl, very speedy, hits really hard. You obviously get all the flinches with Rock Slide. So we got Zapdos, who, in my opinion, is the best member on the team. Um, Zapdos, overall, its stats are really, really nice. The IVs it's got. Uh, we've got Detect, Tailwind, Heatwave, and Thunderbolt. Uh, we did have Thunderwave before Tailwind, but I ended up getting enough battle points to give a Tailwind, which is obviously really, really nice. Um... Heatwave, great coverage move. Thunderbolt, great stab. Detect is just is detect. Um, and we've got our we've got our cheating, not cheated Latios, but uh, it's got the Soul Dew, which for those who don't know, basically gives a choice item effect to Special Attack and Special Defense, which is just insane. Which its Special Attack is already amazing. I believe my Latios has a thirty uh, IV stat as well in Special Attack, so our Latios hits really hard here. Um, We've got Protect, Dragon Pulse, Psychic, and Surf. Um, Surf at first was actually just a uh, filler move, but I actually grown to really like Surf. So for the time being, we actually do we're keeping Surf on there. Uh, Column Nature is still pretty pretty solid. Um, this one I also did originate. I think this one actually is from my Soul Silver. I don't think it's from Ruby. Um, and our last one here, we got Metagross. Metagross is pretty self-explanatory. Um, got the wide lens on it, specifically uh, to boost accuracy, uh, considering its main stabs are, I guess we'll show it here. Um, but uh, we got Protect, Bullet Punch, Meteor Mash, and Zen Headbutt. So these are just really strong stab moves. I know um, 
instead of running, uh, like, Zen Headbutt and Bullet Punch are pretty swappable for the most part. I know some people like, some, some people like to run Earthquake, which is a great option. Some people like Ice Punch, which is also very good. Um, I'm honestly not quite sure if I want to change its moves. Bullet Punch obviously being a great priority move is just amazing. Meteor Mash is just a super strong stab. Um, I actually will have to check. I think it, I think it does, I can maybe teach it. Iron Head through Move Tutor. I'm actually not sure on that, but I don't even know if I would, to be honest with you, because I really do like Meteor Mash and Zed Head, but pretty self-explanatory. Um, also, I forgot to mention their EV spread. So Tyranitar is max attack HP, 4 in special defense. Uh, Garchomp is max attack, ma max speed, 4 in special defense. Aerodactyl is max attack, max speed, 4 in special defense. Zapdos is max... Special attack and speed for in, I think, HP or special defense. Latios is max special attack, max speed for in special defense. And Metagross is max attack, max HP for in special defense as well. Um, so for the most part, very aggressive team. Um, just got really basic EV sets on them. I know I've got some more complex ones on some of my different ones. But this is what we've got for the time being here. So I'd like to thank everyone for joining us. Um, as I said before, this is going to be our new, uh, one of our new series we're going to be doing, which is going to be Battles Through Time. Uh, we're going to be going through some of our, some of the toughest battles in history for Pokemon here. Uh, starting with this, we're going to go into some other games, like some GameCube games, Pokemon Stadium, things like that. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for joining me. And uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It really helps out the channel a lot. Leave a like as well. Um, if you're not following me on Twitch, follow me on Twitch. It's uh, twitch.tv slash commandercrane. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for joining me, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.